Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. What we're going to do today is build an app from start to finish for a place called The Delaware, which is a bar restaurant that I go to, and uh, they're the perfect candidate to build a mobile app for. They're a newer establishment. Um, you know, they could really benefit from the push notifications and the loyalty program. So we're going to do that for them today. Now I'm using the restaurant and bar app template, and as you can see here, there's a lot on here to work with already but don't get overwhelmed we're gonna go through and customize everything right now so what I like to do first is get down the branding uh, just to get the feel for the app going here so the restaurant and bar icon obviously we want to get rid of um, and I don't know about you but I think that background is absolutely hideous so as you can see here on the official website you can grab the graphic right here um, and also take what I did was just a quick screen capture to get that color background so that all the branding matches up on the mobile app. So the way you go about doing that is first you hit the resources box and then upload file. And then where's the folder? There it is. So there's the graphic uploaded. Now also you need to reload the pages for it to actually kick into gear here. So if you see, there you go. There's the Delaware logo. Now I want to change the background Now that might take a little more time to kick in, uh, so we're just going to keep moving forward. So what I want to do now is I see the menu, and instead of creating a bunch of different pages for it, which you can do, I'm just going to grab the PDF file that they have and integrate that uh, into the tab. So as you can see here, if you go, click on menus, it gives you the PDF file. And the way you do that is we're going to go to Edit Pages, go to Tab 2 and hit Edit. And as you can see here, now the background kicked in. So now the background matches up. Um, and now we're going to convert this page because we don't want it to be um, a bunch of pages within it. We want it to be a PDF file. We're going to go right here to Convert. And we're going to look for one of the pages that accommodates uh, PDF files. And I believe it's way down at the bottom here but there's a, a lot of different pages you can use to uh, to really spice up the app here. So we're going to go to PDF Tron and then hit convert and right here is where you're actually going to put the document and since we don't have the document uploaded yet we're going to go to upload file click on that PDF file and then click choose hit save and then done so now we have our home page and if you go to menu it will go to that PDF file and then you have your photo gallery and your reservations. Now instead of the photo gallery we're going to get rid of that because there really isn't a whole lot on here that we can grab to uh, showcase anything and if you go over to the Yelp page these are all kind of uh, pictures from customers and whatnot so some of them don't look that great so we're just gonna skip doing the photo gallery and instead we'll just put hours and directions in place of that. Now the way we do that is by going to tab 3 and we'll rename this since you can't actually delete tabs we'll name it old tab 3 so you know what we'll actually do for, for this tab we're going to do the customer loyalty tab so it's easy to access uh, for the end user. So the way we do that is create a new page and then control F coupon just so we can find that faster and we'll do the loyalty coupon here hit create and we're going to rename it tab 3 so now if you click on the photo gallery you're gonna get the loyalty program so let's go through and customize this uh, first things first we'll type in the name and then the page style you can do some modifications for instance we're, we're gonna change that background to just the uh, the background that we have for the rest of the pages. There we 
go. And then right here we'll just say buy four meals and get the fifth one for free. And we'll change that at the bottom. Click save. And I'm going to take out the up to $25 just so it looks a little more clean. And I'm kind of a perfectionist. So save, there we go. And then the default coupon, we don't want that. So I just kind of made a generic one here. And we'll click choose. So there we go, we have our loyalty page. Now to link that up and to change uh, the image, obviously we don't want photo gallery with pictures on here. What we're going to do is go to design properties and where it says photo gallery we'll type in we'll just type in VIP card whoops alright there you go now we're gonna change the graphic so we don't want photos want something just make it a drink apply changes and there we go there's the VIP VIP card we have our menu so let's go back to the home page now we'll get rid of a lot of a lot of these buttons here on the main page just to clean it up a little bit we'll click edit get rid of the about us get rid of the drink menu get rid of the photo gallery and let's add one here for the VIP card so type in VIP card and link that to tab 3 alright so we click on menu it goes to the menu reservations we'll edit that in a moment hours and directions we'll edit that in a moment as well and then the VIP card where it goes to the loyalty program. So what we want to do is fill out the rest of this app here. So we have the menu. We're going to modify the reservations and we're going to modify the hours and directions. Okay, so now we're going to go to the hours and address tab. Let's go to map, hit edit. Now with this you're going to have to go through and just add the address and the restaurant name right here and then the link for the map and that's got to be done through some quick HTML code now I know people get freaked out when they see the coding but it's really really easy to edit as you can see right here it says restaurant and bar so instead we're going to replace that with the Delaware and then it has the address so we're going to go pull the address from the Yelp page and paste that in here and we're also going to include the telephone number they don't seem to list the hours here so I think what we're going to do is take that out We're just going to take out the hours. Click save. Copy and paste that address in here.
save and then done. So now we have to go through and edit the reservations page. So reservations right here, click edit. I'm just going to type in my address for the time being. So they can go through, they have the date, the time, and then they submit it via email. And that's all you really need to do to modify on this one. So click save and then done. Now let's go back. Now we need to do Yelp and reviews. So there's the Yelp button right there. Let's grab the URL for that. Click save and then done. Yep, there's the Delaware. And when they're on a mobile device, so it'll automatically resize to uh, to the mobile site. Follow us, we'll go edit that right now. I do not believe they have a Twitter. But they do have a Facebook. grab their Facebook page. Again, you'll just have to do some simple HTML editing here. And like I said, we're going to get rid of Twitter because I don't think they even have it. So here's the Facebook link. And then I believe there's an email. So for now, we're just going to put support at Pillar Apps. Save it. Done. And uh, we have our app. Double check everything. The VIP card and reservations. That looks good. Have that modified. Got the Yelp reviews at the reservations. So now you just you want to take this app and test it on your mobile phone just to make sure everything looks good. And then I can bring it in and show uh, ownership, this new mobile app. And this guy have a, has a string of a bunch of other restaurants as well. So once he sees this and the power of it and the loyalty card and the push notifications, you know, hopefully he'll want to implement this in all of his other uh, restaurants as well. So if you have any questions or get caught up on anything, you know, feel free to reach out and uh, hopefully I didn't go too fast. And there's obviously a lot of modifications that can be done, but as far as the basic mobile app goes, uh, you know, this is perfect for any bar or restaurant. So again, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.